Hello artists! When, before you begin painting your AB pattern caterpillar, think about which color is lighter. For me, the yellow is going to be lighter and the purple is going to be darker. I want to paint with a lighter color first. So I'm going to take my brush, I don't even need to get it wet, and I'm going to dip it in the yellow. I'm not getting yellow paint up here on the metal part, I'm only getting it down in those bristles. Okay. Now I can begin painting my caterpillar. Don't be afraid to move your caterpillar around. That's fine. We want to paint yellow wherever it's supposed to be yellow. And look, I got a little bit of yellow on the purple part. That's okay. I can paint over it when I do the purple. So take your time. Turn your caterpillar around. Just look, I can move my whole tray like that. And I need to get a little more yellow on my brush, so I'm going back to get more. Caterpillars are fragile, so it is better to move it with the tray. You can hold it steady, though. and paint all those lighter color parts of your caterpillar first. Get all those white spots. Okay. Now, I need to wash off my brush. Okay, that's why I got water. So I need to touch my bristles to the bottom of my cup and stir, 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 and really wash it well. Dip, dip, wipe, wipe off the extra water. And this is super important. We need to dry off our brush on the paper towel that I gave you so that we don't water down the paint. Okay, other kids are going to use this too, and they don't want to have watered down paint. So please do your best to really dry off your brush. When you're sure that it's dry, double check. Then you're going to switch to the other color. So I need some purple my other part of my pattern and I have to be a little more careful now because I can paint over where I got the yellow but I'm gonna try not to get the purple on the yellow parts if you get a little purple on the yellow parts that's okay just try your best if your antenna happened to pop off while you're working that's okay. I'm going to be hot gluing your caterpillar to your leaf that you created once it's dry. So when I do that hot gluing, I can definitely make sure that I hot glue those antenna on for you as well. Take your time. I'm really going slower when I get up against the edges so that I can aim it where I want it. Kind of tricky, but you can do it. Don't give up. So paint your whole caterpillar, at least everything that we can see that's not going to be sitting down on the leaf. You don't have to do the bottom of it, but all the white parts that we can see easily with our eye. Remember to turn your tray. And when you're all done, raise your hand so I can come and see it. Have fun.